Hi everyone, Native Q here. What I thought we'd do is um, I'm going to take this ship out and we're going to go hunting for some drones. And what I mean by that is we're going to go out and um, try and scan down lost or abandoned drones. Um, there are many reasons why a player would uh, leave their drones in space. Uh, maybe they died and their drones were just left there adrift in space. Or maybe they got scared off a, a combat site or a ratting site and um, forgot to um, recall their drones before they warped off and um, they didn't bother going back and collecting them. Now there could be many reasons uh, but what I'll be doing is I'll be using the ship here. It's a Tech 2 covert op ship. It's called the um, Athema. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, as you can see it's just a, it's a small frigate. Um, Tech 2, um, basic requirements the only spaceship command one. The only thing you do need is the Amar frigate um, level five skill, and the um, electronic update uh, upgrades level five as well. Uh, but the fit is pretty basic. There's nothing special about it. Um, as you can see in the high slots, I've got a covert ops cloaking device, and I've got a sisters expanded uh, probe launcher, and uh, it has eight sister combat scanner probes. Uh, preloaded for the mid slots it's just a 5 um, mn uh, microwatt drive and that uh, lets me go about 1400 uh, meters a second so that way you can get up to the drones quick and uh, scoop them up and uh, warp off <laughs> and um, the rest of the mid slots um, I have just got a scanning pinpoint array tick one I've got two of them and a scanning rangefinder array tick one and uh, I don't have that much, I don't have many skills in, in scanning at all. Uh, as you can see, the requirements for the Tech 1 I've got, which is the um, this one here, the Rain Finding Tech, uh, sorry, the, um, Level 2. Uh, but as you can see, for the uh, Tech 2 version of this array, I don't have the skills. I do not have the Range Finding Level 5. I've only got Level 3, as you can see there. So I can only do the Tech 1s, which is fine. I mean, it just means that uh, scanning takes a little bit longer than it normally would. Uh, <clears throat> for the rig slots, all I've got a two um, small gravity capacitor upgrade tech ones. And uh, as you can see from the description of this, it is designed to increase the ship's scanning probe strength. So I've got two of them. And of course, the rangefinder array. It increases the scan, uh, scan strength when scanning with scan probes and the pinpointing one is increases the scan um, deviation when scanning with uh, scan probes uh, so that's pretty good not bad yeah see deviation modifier negative 10 percent <clears throat> and uh, for the low slots i've just got uh, three uh, expanded cargo hold tech twos now the reason why i've got these in the low slots is simply because of the uh, cargo hold um, just means I can uh, fit more lost drones in um, so I don't have to keep on going back to a station to drop them off and um, I'll be doing it for about 20 minutes before I started this video and um, as you can see already I've got 19.5 um, million isk worth of drones I've got uh, nine um, heavy fighters tech 2 heavy fighters and four tech 1 light fighters not fighters drones I should say <laughs> And um, yeah, current market for these at the moment. Uh, in this space, you're looking at two million per drone, which is pretty good going. So I've got nine of them, and for these light fighters, current market value is half a million. So it's two million there, and uh, just just under twenty million there. So it's not bad, not bad at all. Um, so yeah, let's get started and um, I'll show you what I do and um, you know, as I said, I'm not an expert in this in any way, shape or form so bear with me if I'm doing something blatantly wrong and um, there's a better way to do it, I, I just don't know, I'm still learning uh, to be an expert in this game um, is impossible <laughs> there's just so many things that, that um, so many things to learn in this game it's just a never ending learning experience um, to say that you're an expert in everything in this game is you know if someone says that then they're lying 
Uh, it's just impossible to be an expert in every every type of mechanic in this game. And uh, scanning is just one of my weak points. Uh, I admit it, I'm not that good at it. Um, but hopefully you'll be able to pick up some tips and tricks um, when it comes to scanning down other ships and, and drones that are in space. So without further ado, um, let's get on and, and do it. Um, so I've already scanned the system that I'm in, so let's just walk to um, a different system and um, see what we can find. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to find something pretty quick and um, be able to get them. <laughs> now, uh, one of the things that I like doing is um, going to a system where there isn't that many people in the system. Otherwise, it makes it really, really hard to try and work out uh, what's going on um, in terms of you know how many people are actually ratting um, and uh, you know the drones are actually in use and uh, the drones that have been abandoned. It uh, just makes it a bit harder to to work that out if there's a lot of people in local. Um, but as you can see here, there's just two people in local, which is pretty good. So what I like doing is I like um, just go into a safe spot <clears throat> as soon as I get into a system. Um, either make a deep space uh, safe by um, bouncing off different um, objects in space and, and put marking, um, warp between, uh, or just go into friendly citadel or something like that. Just so you're anchored, just so you know if any hostile comes into into um, into local then you don't have to scramble to try and get safe, you're already in a, in a pretty safe space or place I should say. So let's just go ahead, let's launch the um, the probes out and um, let's open this up. What I like doing is um, just expanding them as big as possible, the um, scanning range I should say, and just so it encompasses the um, whole system and just go analyze and see what we can find. One person in local now, which is fantastic. Okay, there's four drones. There's a lot of um, deployables. They're probably um, mobile depots, so there's no point in going after them. Uh, what else do we have? Quite a few refineries, a um, couple of structures, and a ship. So I assume that ship is going to be this guy here. <coughs> so I'm not going to scan down that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan down these drones. Now one thing to work out, uh, one thing, sorry, to, to bear in mind is um, where the drones are. So the drones are over in this vicinity here. And if I go back and I go to the ship here, it's in the same vicinity as the drones. So it's a pretty good bet that this ship um, is using these drones to do a, a site of some sort. Um, but what we'll do is, is we'll just scan them anyway, uh, just to <clears throat> just to see if, if I'm if I'm right or not. Uh, so let's put that over here. Yep, pretty good. Let's decrease the the angle. Give that a scan. Okay, one more time, up we go, decrease, scan away, as I said my skills aren't that good, um, people with higher skills would have probably got this already. But hey, the more you do it, the um, the better you get. The more easier it is for you to scan stuff down. Okay, so there are a bunch of combat drones, which is what I would expect if the guy's actually doing a, um, a site with them.
Okay, there we go. So the heavy drones, the Praetor Tech 2s are heavy drones. So what I'll do is I'll just warp to, I'll warp to 50 because he's, as I said, that ship, this guy here is probably doing a sight. So I don't want to disrupt him when he's doing a sight. So I'll just warp in cloaked just so um, <laughs> he doesn't get upset if I come and, um, and try and nab his drones. Yeah, as I expected, as you can see, there he is there. And there's his drones attacking these um, these rats. <clears throat> so as I said, this was just a, 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 um, an example. Um, if you see some drones in space, but you see a ship that's quite close to them, you can pretty much guarantee that um, they're active drones and that ship is using them to attack some target. So there we go. So let's, um, yeah, that's a pity. So they were the only drones in the system. Uh, so let's go to the next system and, um, and see what we can find. So yeah, the, um, <clears throat> the more times you do this, the easier it's going to be. And um, yeah, if you get good at it and you get quite quick at doing it, going from system to system, uh, it can be quite profitable. Uh, this works anywhere, in low sec and high sec, uh, in um, null sec and wormhole space. Um, yep, just make sure that you know you're in a in a, um, a pretty known region of space. You don't want to accidentally come across a gate camp with uh, insta lockers because that would uh, really ruin your day if, if that was the case. Um, but you could say that the system that I'm going through is, is in my backyard. So I'm pretty confident that um, we don't have um, that many gate camps around here. So, because <clears throat> if we did, then I, I would probably uh, get rid of the um, the cargo expanders and uh, put some warp core stabilizers in there. Uh, just so if I uh, just so if I do get um, insta locked that um, I still can get away with uh, <coughs> with my um, yeah with my warping abilities and um, all the rest of it. So here we go, lots of probes. There's quite a few uh, other people in the system, so it's probably not a good example. As I said, I like to um, do systems where there aren't that many people in local. So let's have a look. Let's see what we can find. Yep, so there's um, a couple of oracles out here, because what I saw is a whole bunch of excavator drones. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So there's at least two oracles out here mining away. <clears throat> so if I was a ganker and I saw them, I would, um, yeah, basically, I wouldn't bother scanning these down. I'd just warp to, you know, probably the Colossal or something like that, or the Enormous. Um, but yeah, that's the only drones that I can see. Oh, there is um, these two over oh, these, this bunch over here. But yeah, I don't think it's going to be worth putting them down. Oh, so I scanning these down. Oh yeah, there's um, one, two. See, he's over there. He's over there. These are docked up. So these are probably your roll calls, aren't they? Um, well, maybe, yeah, the large. Oh, let's just have a go anyway. Let's just um, let's just try and scan down these drones just to just to see exactly where they are.
Okay, that didn't out matters. <coughs> See what they are. Quite a few uh, MTUs. No, not mobile tractor. Well, it could be mobile tractor units or mobile depots. <coughs> One of the two. Right. Now the great thing about drones is that if you get, uh, you know, five in space like that, then you're pretty you know you'd be pretty good to <clears throat> you know it's a pretty good bet that all of them are, are in the same vicinity so all you got to do is scan down one and you pretty much scan down the rest of them as well just about there as i said scanning skills aren't the best but yeah <laughs> you get the general idea Compact drone. And uh, one more scan should get it. Ugh, tech ones. They aren't that good but hey we'll scoop them up anyway there's no point littering space with um, unwanted drones might as well um, do the decent thing and uh, sweep them up and um, take them to the trash <laughs> and there we go so let's just uh, warp to 30 just in case they're active I don't see any ships around here uh, so maybe they are abandoned but anyway, we'll, we'll soon find out. Warp and cloaked. Yep, they're abandoned. And there we go. Great thing about this uh, 5MN uh, micro warp drive is, uh, yeah, it's um, pretty quick. <coughs> so what I need to do is I need to... Approach that, turn that off, turn that on, so we can get to them quick. So these aren't that good. Um, let's have a look. How much are they? <laughs> 4,000 a skeech. <clears throat> but if you reprocess them, eh, not that much minerals. Anyway. Um, or you can just use them and uh, if you're into industry you can uh, use them in the um, production for uh, Tech 2 versions of the drones. But anyway, it's uh, free yes, so why not? Let's just scoop them all up. Uh, scoop to cargo hold and one more. And there we go. Right, so we'll reload our probes and we'll go to the next system, see what we can find in the next system. <clears throat> so as you can see, five drones, they take up 25 uh, cubic meters. So there's only, you know, so many sets that you can put in there um, before you have to um, drop them off somewhere. So that's why the uh, expanded cargo, cargo hold um, modules is, uh, is quite brilliant. It just increases it. So you can fit a hell of a lot of drones in um, without having to drop them off, which is fantastic. <coughs> so another system that's quite busy. So let's not bother with this one. Uh, let's just go to the next system. Right. Hi everyone, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I cut the video short um, just because uh, there was a lot of um, 
going through different systems trying to find um, some drones to scan down. So instead of um, boring you with all that lot, I um, I just cut all that um, stuff out. Um, so I found the system and um, I've just managed to scan down some uh, Tech 2 drones. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll warp to them and um, we'll, um, we'll pick them up. Uh, <clears throat> they're not actually being used at the moment because uh, there's no ships on, on scan either. So there's no there's no ship that uh, would be out in space actively using them. So these are just floating around, uh, just doing nothing. So uh, we'll, yeah, we'll come and scoop them up. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, they do have the uh, the green mark on them, which uh, means that they are owned by somebody uh, in my corporation. Um, but the, the only bad thing about it is I don't know who that person is because um, yeah as you can see it doesn't have the person's uh, logo next to them all it tells me is that someone from Moose Army uh, owned them it doesn't tell me who though but anyway I won't leave them in space um, I will scoop them up why not as I said it, um, it's always best to uh, you know scoop up all the trash <laughs> you know, don't want a dirty space with um with loose drones everywhere. Um, so yeah, so they were right off a citadel. Uh, not a citadel, a um a refinery. So it's quite interesting how they were just left out here, just off this refinery. Hmm. How interesting. Um, but what we'll do is um since I've got you here, we'll uh, just go down to the next system. Um, just see, just see what we can find in the next system. So yeah, as you can see, so far what we've got is we've got uh, five acolyte tech ones. Uh, we've managed to score ourselves five acolyte tech twos and one warrior tech two drone. Uh, so they're all um, light fighters, not fighters. They're all light drones, light combat drones. So no heavies or no mediums. Which is a pity, um, but as I said, I mean, I was doing this before I started this video, and um, I think it's in here. Yeah, I managed to score another four acolyte tech twos, and um, yeah, nine um, heavy fighters, the uh, Praetor tech uh, tech twos, not fighters, sorry, uh, heavy drones, heavy tr combat drones. So that was a good score. Um, Twenty minutes before I started the video. <coughs> Should have stayed over in that part of space. There <laughs> seemed to be a bit more more luck grabbing stuff um, over there than than I am currently in in um, this part of um, Esoteria. But we'll see what is in the system. Um, so we'll do one more scan just to see if we can get lucky. And um, if not, uh, we'll end the video. Uh, NPC ships. Uh, nope. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's not end the video so soon. Let's just. Um, I want to get one more set of drones. Let's see if we can get one more set of drones. see what's in the system. The only one in here? Alright, let's see if we get lucky. Hey, we've got some drones. Brilliant. Right, let's see what these are then. Oh, 
would be so good if there was something meaty and juicy. No ships and systems, so they're not actively being used. <coughs> so they'll just be ripe for the picking. Oops. Right, let's take this down to about 4 AU. One more scan should do it. Probably not. No, my luck it will require another scan. Yep, <laughs> another scan. Yeah, I need to get my skills up in this. I really do. Alright, that should do it. I should be able to get them now. Please be something good. Let the loot gods be nice. Oh, yes, they are nice. Faction drones. Nice. Oh, we'll, we'll grab them. Brilliant. One, two, three, four. So only four of them. There is not five. Which means one of them obviously died. But hey, I'll I'll grab four. I'm not picky. Four will do very nicely. Oh, and as you can see, it's not actually someone from my alliance that lost them. Oh, not my alliance. I my um my corp that uh, lost them. It's actually another corp in the same alliance. And um, SF that Star Frontiers. So someone from the Star Frontiers Corporation which is part of the um, the test alliance lost their imperial navy um, freighters um, so yeah thank you for you losing them <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for your loss but um, you obviously didn't want them that bad otherwise you would have came back and got them so um, yep yeah, as I said I'm just uh, just um, yeah, happy to provide my cleaning services just to um, make sure that space is clean and um, get rid of all the um, the uh, drones just lying around. There's another, there's a relic site here as well. Be good to um, get my stereo out and do the relic site. They can be quite profitable. I find that uh, relic sites are definitely more profitable than data sites. Um, but it just depends on, on what you want uh, to do the loot, or what you want to do with the loot, I should say. If you want to um, do Tech 2 Invention, then Data Sites is definitely the way to go. Um, if you are wanting to um, get salvage stuff and um, to do um, Tech 2 Builds and all the rest of it, then yeah, Relic Sites is, um, is good as well for that sort of stuff. Um, right, let's just um, see what's in the system and if there's nothing um, good in this system um, then we will call it quits for uh, this video. Um, so let's just quickly do a scan. There's um, three people in system so I'm not sure what they're doing. But we'll see how many drones are out. Okay, someone is ice mining in a Oracle. Um, so the only ice um, belt in here is um, this one here. So if I was a bad dude, I would warp to this um, ice belt. And um, I would go and kill these uh, ice drones. But unfortunately I can't do that. Because um, the people that are currently mining um, are in the test alliance. So... 
I want to be nice, um, but uh, obviously that roll call does have uh, backup in the system. As uh, as you can see, there's a carrier on scan as well, um, and quite a few. That is that is a hell of a lot of drones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen drones. So these um, these fighters these fighters would be used with that carrier so you could say that this carrier is actively doing something out in space either having the fighters um, next to the roll call for protection or this carrier is actually out ratting in um, some anomaly somewhere um, and how many ships so there's one so there's the roll call so one of these ships is a roll call um, the other ship is the carrier so that just leaves one other ship out in space, uh, which will be this guy here. Um, so one of the things I can deduce from just that is the fact that that last ship can only have at maximum five drones out. And as you can see, there's a shitload of drones out. So this, so most of these will be um, drones that have been abandoned. So hey, let's scan them down. Why not? There's a hell of a lot of drones just left out here. So um, yeah, I think this will be the last system that we um, that we um, that we do. And um, yeah, as you can see for the type of scanning that we're doing this system is a gold mine because there's a hell of a lot of drones in here and not all of them have been used by that one guy it's not the Royal Corps because the Royal Corps has five excavator ice drones out and it's not the carrier because the carrier can't use drones it can only use um, fighters and you saw the, um, the three fighters out there so it's not a super carrier because um, otherwise there'd be uh, five sets of fighters out there. So because it's only three sets, you know it's just a normal regular carrier. But yeah, so it's pretty good the fact that you know, as I said, you can pick up um, you know fighters that are that have been abandoned in space as well. So um, it's always good to um, <coughs> to keep an eye out for them. Um, but as I said, you know, they're like a thousand uh, cubic meters each. So they do take up a hell of a lot of space. And uh, fortunately, if I do, did come across any, I wouldn't be able to fit them in the ship I'm in. So I would have to um, go and uh, reship into a industrial ship just to be able to um, pick them up. And this is taking forever. There's uh, no... Okay, so there's no ship around here. So that's good. Now uh, there's a mobile tractor unit over here. But, um... Yeah, the... Oh, it's just... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, so this set of drones I'm not going to scan down. Because um, it probably belongs to that other guy, that ship. Um, as you can see, there's a ship there. There's a mobile tractor unit there, and there's uh, drones out. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six drones out. Why would there be six drones out? That's just weird. Okay, I'm not going to bother scanning over in that direction because that's um. That'll be a waste of time, because I think um, five of those drones at least are, are being used by by that one ship. I don't know what the sixth one's doing there, but uh, maybe that was an abandoned site, and um, some other ship came along and decided to do it instead. Um, so let's try these drones over on this side. Smaller. OK, 
Okay, combat drones. Right, should be able to get them now. Doesn't seem to be any ship around. Oh, no, didn't get it that time. Uh, what's that? It's 2 AU. 1 AU. Right, be able to get it now. That's a roll call. Why? Let's just warp to 10 and find out what's going on because that's right next to the Oracle. Let's see what's going on. Maybe there was a battle in here. Maybe that Oracle got tackled and there was a bit of a scrap in the. Uh, okay, so this isn't. Uh, next to the Colossal. This is actually a combat site that's obviously been ab abandoned because there's one there's one uh, rat left out there. Um, and these predators are actively getting um, attacked. So what I want to do is I want to quickly get in, grab them all, Actually, let's not get that one because that one's been attacked. Let's get the ones that aren't being attacked. Hopefully, it's just obviously been quite recent that these have been abandoned. And again, someone in my corporation. I don't want to pick this drone up because that rat is actively um, attacking it. So if I pick this up, then the drone will then obviously start attacking me and that's... What I don't want to do at this stage, I'll leave that drone for the last. Right, yeah, as I said, um, yeah, it's obviously someone in my corp lost these. Oh, now the now the um, the rat's on me, so I'll quickly finish this. Great thing about the transversal speed on here. Oh, I've been webbed and scrammed. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, shit, I need some help. Um, I need some help. Uh, what system is this? Uh, let's just try and aim for that as quickly as possible. Uh, am I able to outrun this guy? Slowly but surely. Okay, his scram is off, so I can I can warp off now. So let's uh, let's do that. Oh, that's a nasty. Okay, hold on. Just, uh... Just bear with me two secs. Um, I 
Okay, right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, um, wow, that was lucky. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that I fitted the um, the 5MN micro warp drive tech to, because uh, uh, if it was just an afterburner um, or something smaller, um, then there's probably no way I'd be able to outrun that rat. And um, because that rat scrammed me and whipped me, um, I'd be completely screwed. Um, so thank God for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was uh, that was very very lucky. Um, wow, that was close. Um, but um, but worth it because uh, uh, yeah, we got um, five Prater Tech Twos and uh, we got. Um, some Imperial Navy um, ones as well. Um, as you can see, uh, how much are these currently on the market? These are 5 million each on the market currently. And these Praetor Tech 2s are 2 million each. So that's pretty good. Uh, so what I'll actually do is um, there were more, um, more drones out there. Um, so let's just... Um, quickly find out what they are because um, that will uh, end um, in this video quite nicely and uh, hopefully we're not going to run into any um, other ratting drones uh, maybe I should fit some guns to this ship um, because I do actually have a high slot free yeah one high slot free but CPU is non-existent and I don't have much power grid left so um, actually yeah um, you know the uh, the viewers if you know of a good scanning ship that has some uh, DPS capability uh, then please yeah can you link me um, a fit please because I'd really really like to um, check it out and, and fly it um, this one I, I hastily put together it's definitely not the best. Um, it's just what I could come up with on on short notice, um, and uh, yeah, it has no it has no DPS uh, defensive. Um, sure, it has some it has some EHP, which is which is good, um, but offensive it has absolutely nothing. Uh, this ship doesn't even have a drone bay, uh, so yeah, it uh, it makes it um, quite vulnerable when it gets scrammed and whipped. Um, like it just did um, but yeah if you guys could uh, come up with um, any good fits um, that would be um, absolutely fantastic um, if you could uh, share that with me um, so let's um, find out what else we've got over in this um, area there's actually three yeah three drones uh, four drones out here somewhere I think they may be next to the um, I don't know where they're next to. Yeah, okay, let's just um, try and scan down these quickly. Well, that was a bit of excitement. Right. Sorry about that. Right, let's just um, quickly do this. Maybe near the enormous. It probably is in the enormous. That's a combat drone. That roll call, I think, is docked up. Um, so he's obviously... He's had enough mining for today.
Ah, right, okay. Right, sorry about that. Um, right, let's uh, quickly scan this down. Right, should be able to get it now. There is... There's only one of them over here. Why would there be one um, Tech 2 Heavy drone just sitting by itself out in space? Oh well, you know, just gonna scoop it up, keep space clean. And there it is. All by its lonesome. Um, so we'll give it a home with his buddies in my cargo hold. Uh, what else? What else? What else? There was a couple more, wasn't there? Somewhere over here. Is that guy still ratting? How many drones is there still? There's more than five. That's good for me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, this is where the guy was ratting, wasn't it? He was actually over here. But I don't see his ship. Yeah, his ship's not on D scan. Roll call still out. Excavator mining drones. Three drones over in this area. See, that's where the guy's mobile track unit was. Oh, that's quite interesting. Why is there? There's some more predators out here. Right next to a mobile track unit. Why would someone do that? Do mobile tractor units scoop up uh, lost drones? I don't know. Uh, let's just warp here to find out. Because that's... Yeah, I don't see a ship there, so... Someone left a mobile tractor unit out here and... Um, Let's have a look. Let's see what's out here. So just one one drone by itself. Okay, well we'll scoop him up. So that, that means I've got a full set of them now. That means I've got one, two, three, four, five of them. Brilliant. Um Right, let's see what what these are, where these are. Um, because they're obviously very close by somewhere. So that's me. So it's um yeah, listen, a u away. Oh, hobgoblin. Oh, I'll have them. Don't have them. This is like fishing. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> ah, good pastime doing this. Something to do when you're um, <coughs> when you're a bit bored of mining or you're a bit bored of ratting. Um, 
and you're you know you're a bit bored of doing data and relic sites so um, yeah it's um, good to come out and just do some combat scanning and um, go out and look for for lost stuff in space so oh, shite let's quickly scoop these up because there's a whole bunch of um, belt rats here which I don't want to tangle with Go 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 quick 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 scoop scoop yeah right get out of here go 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 uh you can walk now uh walk walk thank you Ugh. right so that's those two um there was another one though wasn't there um I thought there was another one somewhere around here. Could blow up that. No, I don't want to blow up that tractor mobile unit because um, someone owns that. Uh, these drones here. Okay, so there's still three of them out here. Please let them all be together. I don't want to have to scan down each individual one. see and uh, one of them why does it do that why can't why can't they all be together why do they have to be completely in different locations that is just so annoying What is it? It's a uh, tech two. So let's just quickly go and grab that, I guess. Uh, please don't be where rats are. Um, even though that's probably not going to help, I'm going to bump straight into that drone and it's going to decloak me, isn't it? Never warp at zero. Golden rule. Oh, thank God, it's just out in space. Cool, right, okay, well that's another uh, Tech 2 Heavy Drone. Come on, come to daddy. There we go, right. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's find the other two. Are you sure they're not around here? They're not. No, they're not. They're not coming up in um, D scan. I mean, in um, in the local um, grid. They're not here. So they're definitely off grid. Why are so many one and two drones just floating around? Why? Why? The drones were getting attacked and they, they couldn't be bothered recalling them all, so they decided to warp off. I I, I don't get that. I really don't get that. Um, where did the drones go? Let's make it a bit bigger. Come on. Maybe somewhere over here. There they are. Oh, I think they're in completely different locations as well. Why? Why do that? Why can't you be together? Oh, didn't want to do that. Oh. Does that mean I'm going to have major problems trying to scan them down?
I'm gonna have problems getting these things down. I shouldn't have actually this is better because it's not it's actually pinpointed it because it's not an X anymore, it's actually a solid round circle. Which should make it easier to scan down. Well, one of them anyway. I'll have to get the other one later. Hopefully they're both together. The other one's down here somewhere. Yeah, I think they are both together. Maybe, hopefully. With any luck. Oops. Oh yes, right. Two combat drones, and it's currently eight minutes to downtime. Right, quick, let's go, let's go, scan them down, and then that'll be it. See what they are. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Not that good. They only take two heavy drones. <laughs> and at least they're together, uh, which is fantastic. Which means I don't have to scan down the other one. So if I reload the scanner probe, go out and pick these up. Out in space again. No rats around to kill me, which is fantastic. So that's one gone, and that's the other one. No, ho, not enough space. See, this is why you need the cargo expanders because it means you can fit more cargo or more drones in your cargo hold, and um, you can easily run out of space which I've currently done, which sucks. Um, so what I can do is I can just go to this uh, Fortazar, I can drop off these drones, and then um, I'll pick up this um, this last drone here. Um, which is a Amar Tech 2 heavy drone that does EM damage. Uh, I think it does. Yep, 64 HP of EM. Um, so yeah, there we go. So yeah, sorry this video took um, some time. Uh, as I as I said before, I you know, had trouble. There was quite a few systems that didn't have anything in them at all. Um, but we got there in the end. Uh, we did fill up our cargo hold with um, drones. A couple of tick ones. Um, quite a few tech twos, um, but at least we got five of the Imperial Navy um, freighters, which are the um, the um, faction heavy drones, and um, yeah, they do exactly the same EM damage as the tech two versions, um, but you only need tech one skills to use them, and uh, they are quite expensive. Currently on the market for about five million each, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it um, there. So I hope you found this uh, video enjoyable. I um, hope you learned something new. And um, I hope you realize now that um, scanning for uh, lost drones in space can be quite profitable. Um, there's definitely a lot out there, uh, especially in active systems. Um, in high sec, what you'd be probably looking for is uh, faction warfare sites or, or systems where um, people are actively shooting each other and shooting drones. Um, there's a there'd be a hell of a lot of uh, drones that you can uh, pick up in there um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and um, if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe um, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my my YouTube channel um, until next time fly safe and uh, bye for now